my name is Reda Gudruj. I'm one of the petroleum engineers and digital oil field specialists here at Petroleum Experts. The main solution that we're displaying is really about integrating the whole oil field. We're taking, from the premise of the start of the company has been taking everything from the reservoir to the process side of things. So reservoir, well, network to process and eliminating the boundary conditions that used to be imposed traditionally by the industry. We're trying to get everything fully integrated and dynamically communicating in order to have consistency in data, PVT, and allow the asset to have the most realistic understanding of their oil fields. Um, what we do initially is through the IPM suite, Integrated Production Modeling, is a series of physics-based models that encompass each part. The digital oil field sits on top of this. This is the next stage in the evolution of tracking and optimizing your oil fields. Essentially, rather than offline studies based on physical models that interact, we're actually taking uh, data straight from the field in various scenarios, such as in our physical models of reservoirs. We can take sensor data, we can take gauge data, we can take pump data, and it's being brought from a historian directly into the digital oil field. But not only that, we're actually going to be validating that data on an automated fashion because there's no point creating a system based on data if we can't trust it. So we're taking that system in real time, that data from the field, we're validating the models, and we're using automated visual workflows in order to propose visual management. That's the solution within our digital oil field. We can manage the system as, as, as any way that we like, and our engineers, our assets, all the way from Sandface to CEO, are able to see exactly how your system's working in real time and actually perform value-added activities such as optimization um, over the course of 5, 10, 15 years and more. The immediate benefit is the fact that we fully understand our system. There is no loss in data between one section of the field to the next. The better the understanding we have of our field, the more informed decisions that we'll be able to make and if we can make more informed decisions, we can create value, and that can translate to more production for the system. As well as that, in terms of the, the value that we have, our system is easy to implement as well. So there's ease of implementation, which shortens the actual deployment time, and we can better understand the field. These are all developed in-house. So what we have is a system of our in-house models. And again, as I say, we have Reveal, our reservoir simulator, which is part of our digital oil field in the background. We have uh, Prosper, which is our, one of the industry standards for well modeling. And it can do injection, it can do production, com it can be compositional and black oil. We also have GAP, the network, uh, the network modeler, and that has very advanced nonlinear optimization options in order to increase production. But the way that these connect, they've been from day one in 1990 developed to actually interact with each other. But actually more than that, we have a tool called Resolve. This is a third party integrator, or that's just one of its uses, where we can actually have, let's say, a reservoir model from one company, our network model, and another, a third different company's process simulator, all with their own mathematical assumptions, physics-based assumptions, all, all developed individually, but they actually once put into our system Resolve, which is vendor neutral agnostic in the, re in the industry, they actually communicate seamlessly. So that's really what we try and do. It's a, it, it's a complete integration and it's been designed in-house. It is so important to understand the challenges, otherwise how do we go about creating a system like the digital oil field? The challenges can be geographic. Many, many times in such a big industry and working on such big projects, you can have teams on working on a certain asset, and they're located in three different continents, 12 time zones, and yet they have to be seamlessly working together. There's the demographic challenge. We've got an aging population within the industry and a fresh influx of engineers. How do we maintain that the knowledge is transferred between them? One of the big challenges that we actually address in the digital oil field is, uh, is the consumption of the files and the data. Rather than having files trying to be passed between engineers and inherited by new engineers coming in and others moving out, rather than having file 2.1 and 2.2, 2.2 finalized, we actually have model catalog. This is a management system for all files that, contain, uh, that are contained within the digital oil field. It's a one-stop area where the engineer or the asset as a whole can go, a library as such, it can actually go, they can see who last used the model, what modifications they made, when they did it, and check the model out, do their changes, run scenarios, and check it back in. 
but it means that the next person also working on that file, they're not working off a different version. They're working off the exact same file, and they can very clearly see the changes that have been made. There's numerous challenges such as those. It's currently implemented in over 300 places in the world. There's 300 digital oil fields, and we're seeing the benefits being reaped by those areas. Now, a common understanding means less waste. Having a better understanding of your overall assets mean they can be managed better, it's more efficient. And when I say waste, it's not just from a time standpoint, it's from the field itself. We're obviously in an economy and a world here where we need to be conscious of what we're doing uh, for, you know, from, a, from a green standpoint. Digital oil fields can help because we manage our system to the most efficient way that we possibly can. Um, also, the fact that they are physics-based models I mean they're not solely reliant on looking at oil and gas. We do geothermal. We can, actually, we can apply all sorts of different projects. Um, it's used in mining as well, all these, uh, all these uses in the renewables. But the idea here is that better understanding of your field means more efficiency and less waste. And it makes it a, an overall cleaner and greener solution.